We still know that blind sugars will never let go of the Princess of Wales, especially when she is receiving more and more support and love. The attacks became more and more intense and heavy. They constantly scrutinize Catherine's official comeback photo and pose crazy hypotheses. Let's discuss the photo in this video. I'm sure you've all seen the radiant photo of Catherine with her children taken by Prince William. I assure you that it will be a normal photo filled with happiness. However, Sugar Squad is throwing mud at it the way Meghan and Harry threw mud at the royal family. It's scary how they constantly point out Photoshop errors and make crazy assumptions just because the photo has been edited, which everyone in the world does. Even Meghan is the most diligent in Photoshop. And first, howdy sinners, and welcome back to the Royal News 365 channel. Meghan's bots have never let Catherine go. When she had surgery, they spread rumors about all kinds of unfounded diseases or said that she had plastic surgery. And now she's back. You know what? These cruel people dare to say that she passed away, so they had to Photoshop it. Oh my! I can't believe how people can have such cruel thoughts. I wish the best for Catherine, the gentle, kind woman and future queen. Some idiots even say that the Prince and Princess of Wales are getting divorced because she's not wearing a ring. Why would they force someone who is recovering at home to wear jewelry? However, that's not the worst thing, as their crazy arguments are rejected. They immediately put Catherine and Meghan on the scale, concluding that Meghan was the winner because she never made a Photoshop mistake. God save me. I don't know how many of those comments are paid bots. However, I also don't want to mention brainless components. To be honest, all I've seen are supportive comments for Catherine like 9 to 1 on anything I've seen. So I'm not surprised to see the media now jerking the other string. They all cling to Photoshop mistakes to steer the story in the direction they want. Because this story is a giant nothing burger. I have edited pics, as has almost everyone with a portrait, mostly to correct something insignificant however personally annoying to me. Like my nieces doing sassy posing with hands on their hips in family pictures, which are thankfully now properly placed in the family picture. My kids' school pictures now give the option of retouching. Giant nothing burger. Such a freaking nothing burger. Someone would think she photoshopped non-existent people into the photos. It was a lovely photo, and I don't understand why this is the first time a kill notice has been blasted across the news. Like, who cares? In another discussion, they claimed that the picture was pulled because Catherine's face had been superimposed on another woman. And why would they do that? These people are going to be so disappointed when Catherine reappears looking perfectly fine in a few weeks' time. There are also a lot of PR experts claiming that this is a PR disaster for Catherine, yet the woman can't disappear for a few weeks without the whole world going insane for a glimpse of her. Any other celebrity would kill for that level of public interest. I hope more people come out to say this in support of Catherine who has done nothing to deserve that attack. Everything is confirming Catherine's growing popularity. She is not trying to be a celebrity, and yet she is put on this pedestal. Harry and Meghan must be upset that the attention is not on them. They're trying to be celebrities and no one cares. I was not pleasantly surprised to see more positive comments on posts about this. And if you read the comments in the articles attacking Catherine, you will see most of the comments were telling the papers to leave Catherine alone, and quite a few asking them why they are analyzing this photo, however, not the Sussex's Photoshop pictures. The hate is real for Princess Catherine. No one's perfect, however, from the outside looking in. Catherine appears to have it all, and people are jealous and want to tear it down, including Meghan and her sugar squad. Maybe... Princess Catherine made some mistakes in the past, however she bravely admitted her mistakes and corrected them. 
In all seriousness, I don't think either of the Harkles has it in them to own up to their mistakes or apologize. The Harkles won't ever admit to their mistakes or apologize because there are so many, and also they are professional victims. Catherine's apology is more than the grifters have ever apologized since their freedom flight. So I'm not surprised that, at the moment when the Princess of Wales shines, someone will try to pull her down, of course, this effort is in vain. Just like Harry and Meghan are doing nonsense in Texas to get attention. Unfortunately, this plan backfired. That's why those desperate people bring up the fact that Meghan and Harry never had Photoshop mistakes to compare with Catherine. Well, let's take some time to look at photos of Harry and Meghan. Well, have you seen in some of the photos that Harry's hair seems to have grown a lot? Every picture of Harry has photoshopped hair on his head. Look at his pictures taken by audiences in concert venues and award ceremonies. He has no hair on top of his head. However, look at his official website and the puff pieces. He has so much hair on his head. How is this possible without Photoshop? It's not just the hair. They always give him the appearance of someone who works out by stamping some buff outlines over his shirts and reducing his paunch. When you are regularly looking like an over-filtered, over-filled, ill-fitting, wrinkled mess with back grid paid for photos, I would think you would know this puff piece wasn't your brightest idea. The Harkle photographs are photoshopped abysmally. It's as if they do it all on a tiny phone screen and have no idea what their efforts look like displayed on a larger screen at high res. There's a ridiculous cut and paste collaged photo of Megan holding Lily in a hallway. It's a photo of Megan at an event years earlier with her hair pulled back. The child has been photoshopped in and Megan has been given a full head of loose hair stamped all over the photo. Her ear is pixelated, cut from a low-resolution image, and pasted into a higher-resolution compilation. No one in the media questioned it yet. It was blatantly an entirely made-up image. And Megan, I probably don't need to say it. If you look at some of her photos from the same event, there is always a huge difference between the photos of major newspapers and the photos taken by her back grid. No error? Sometimes it still happens, however fakeness is in every photo. Megan and Harry, you should tread very carefully. You don't want to be opening this can of worms, darlings. The scrutiny that Catherine's photo was put under could easily be put to your own photos, and there could be things that you won't want people to find out that suddenly get laid out in the open, things like pregnancies or children. If Harry and Meghan had ever encountered the same issue, they would have been annihilated. The same rules do not apply to both couples. It does sound as though Meghan is bitter about all the attention shown to Princess of Wales's picture and has knocked her comebacks a hard blow. I am petty enough to get the satisfaction that she and Harry are frustrated with this unexpected foil to their plans. Some newspapers are attacking Catherine. However, I believe they clearly understand her influence, so they take advantage of it to get more clicks. However, they are piggybacking off the real royals. Meghan better get used to it, because now the media know just how much of an iconic draw anything Princess Catherine is, there will be no end. It'll all be about Catherine, and no one cares about Meghan, she'll have to fight for the breadcrumbs. Of course, I'm not talking about the newspapers that have been completely bribed and sided with this witch. They fabricated that Meghan and Harry never looked wrong in photos. Foolhardy. They would never make that mistake is most likely because they don't do it themselves. They have others do it for them. Just like they never said this or that, others said it. We didn't know what they were doing. We found out just like you. They always try to keep a buffer so they can play the victim. This press is showing how low and disgusting they can get. They love adding fuel to a fire. I didn't extend them to love the royal family, but it seems they would love to drive Catherine and William Batty and have a Harkle reign to make fun of and keep them in business. The monarchy would end at that point, making half the press very happy.
what will they write about then? I think if anyone had to develop a stress-induced illness, it would be Catherine. She is so tormented by the press, the people love her, but there is a certain segment that hates her, and she does nothing but do her duties and live peacefully. She is receiving the treatment that Megan deserves. They could use Harry and Megan like they could use poison. Nobody thinks this except the poop-stirring media, who don't really believe it, but are doing it for clicks and deranged sugars. So please let go of this gentle woman who is recovering her health. They are mad that William is not saying anything, and there are no traitors in their insider circle leaking. So, they are doing what Harry and Meghan are doing too, prod and poke and provoke until the hounded Waleses cannot take it any more and emerge to defend themselves. Sounds like classic bullying. Who cares about the cardigan or floor tiles or blurry hair in that photo? The press is punishing the Wales family because they are denied the access they want. Just like the Harkles were told no by the royal family, the press on this occasion were told no by William and Catherine. Both Harkles and media have exploded with rage and desperately need to prove how powerful they are. That's the scary part. By pulling the photo very publicly, humiliating a woman after serious surgery, and papping her as soon as they can. Those two pap shots are like when the thug growls in your ear, I know where you live. It's almost like they've trampled on the gift that was given to us by whales with the best of intentions. That brings us to the end of this video. Do you agree with my opinion? Please comment to let us know your opinion. Don't forget to like and share the video so YouTube can recommend similar videos. And if you want to receive notifications about the latest videos, please subscribe. We will be back soon. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.